Well, this morning I've got to head to a new client's house. Uh, I need some drone shots to decide on, I think, what he's going to do, whether he's going to change his project in a certain way or what. So uh, we'll see how that all goes. And then after that, I'm not sure. I'm Oh, I am sure. I've got to go to uh, one of the sponsors of the sites. He wants to learn how to fly a drone. So I'm going to give him some lessons. Uh, we'll see how that goes. It takes a while to learn how to drive, uh, fly the drone and uh, operate it. It's not super hard, but there's a lot of little pieces. And he hasn't even played with it once yet. So that'll be interesting. So you're going to see uh, a clip of what a fever of stingrays looks like. And to get that, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. It might seem sort of simple or whatever, but we went down to Savannah Sound and we're uh, doing some filming, beach stuff, the watercolor, all that kind of thing. And Sid's in the back and she says, uh, there's something way out there. It's really dark and big. And okay, so and it's moving and it's moving and so it's not seaweed or grass or any of that stuff So what I have to do and see this is let's see This is what the controller looks like. So this is the phone and If you've ever tried to use your phone in the Sun the picture is terrible So you have to move around and sort of shade it with your body to be looking at it and then flying in the direction she's trying to tell you while somewhat moving the camera and looking for things in the water. And catching seaweed blobs. <laughs> right, and, and Sid's like, no, it's the next seaweed blob after that one. And so you're out over the water and you're flying looking at this little screen and all of a sudden you can see something in the distance and you sort of head for that without being able to actually see where the drone's going. So you can see on the screen here, but you can't actually see because the drone's way out there and sometimes you don't even, you can't even see it, it's too far away. So you've got to rely on what you're looking at and then zooming down in and stopping above it enough and changing the controls so that you can watch them. And unfortunately, you'll see it wasn't like glass flat. It would have been like, you know, picture perfect had the water been glass flat, but you can see the, the seven rays in there uh, as they swim around and it was really cool to see. I mean, I love getting things like that because you, you just don't get those. You wouldn't see if you were by the shore, like we were, you wouldn't be able to see the seven rays uh, all together. And I've actually never seen the seven rays all together. You might see from the shore uh, something black like she did. And without a drone, you can't go out there and investigate and say, oh, look, it's seven whatever's or turtles or sharks or whatever so it's really cool to do but it's not all that easy because then you also have to remember where you are and how to get back again because again you can't see the drone it's too far away and you have to pull it back to you with hitting the right controls and see all these little these buttons over here this is what's up down left right sideways everything else so it takes a lot of practice to do, but all the time I use it, I'm getting more and more confident. So I hope you like the uh, footage of the uh, stingrays, and uh, I'm hopefully we're gonna keep finding new fun things like that. Oh, it was the same thing with the- uh, Turtle. No, not the turtle, I was gonna say the uh, water hole. When we went down that road, I couldn't see anything. So I put the drone up through the trees, luckily, thank God. <laughs> and I knew just from looking at Google Maps, there had been something that showed up in that area, but I couldn't see, I'm in the trees. I couldn't see the drone or anything else. I had to fly it totally by visual, which makes it really interesting because then you've got to bring it back visually and drop it down through a 10 foot opening in the trees with a little bit of a breeze it's all part of the fun. Enjoy.
Yesterday, I had some iced coffee left over, so I put it in the freezer, thinking, okay, it'll just freeze up solid. But I forgot. It did freeze up solid. See? It's solid. I forgot it's an insulated glass. So today, I said, well, I'll just pour some new iced coffee in. Well, unfortunately, the top that's missing, that was the iced coffee part. Maybe by tonight, that iced coffee will have melted down enough to drink, but... It was a good plan, I thought. Beach walk, done. Uh, rested today, what do we got? 320. Uh, met uh, somebody down at the beach. I've got some paperwork I've got to do. It won't be today because I've got to talk to uh, Inland Revenue tomorrow and find out an answer to a question before I can proceed with them. And then I can set up an appointment. We'll go from there. So it's amazing. It's sort of like the beach is like the golf course in New England. I end up meeting a lot of people, doing business, different stuff like that. But we'll see what the rest of today comes to. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to find... Sid just told me there's a dark spot out there. It's past the second dark spot. And remember, you can see it on this screen right here on the computer very easily. But when I'm looking at it, I'm in the sunlight. I've got a 7-inch screen. So trying to focus in on where are they is like really hard when you're trying to find something out there. I mean, you can see them now. So I suppose if you had a whole monitor type thing and you can see them. So you start, once you can finalize where it is and what you're trying to go after, in this case, those, uh, the fever of rays, you can then say, okay, I'm facing that way and then start heading that way so that you can see basically where they are get closer and then you've got to tilt the camera angle because you're actually still quite a distance from them so as you can see when I'm coming up here I'm coming towards them and now I've got a very good shot of them and you can see there's well you can't really see yeah you can there it is you can see there's seven of them which is really odd seven stingrays all together and I had Sid come home and look up what it was and when you got a clump of stingrays together it's called a fever who made that up? I have no idea. But it's one of those things that was really cool to see and you wouldn't see if you didn't have a drone and you weren't in the right place. Uh, all kinds of stuff. I suppose you could be out doing this all the time. And it's only here and there. It's pure luck to see something like this. But I'm glad we got to.
Well, that last little bit was, I just went out, did some shots around around the key, and uh, it's one of those things. The more you practice, the more you feel comfortable doing it, the farther you go, the better you get, hopefully.